this is quite the interesting story. Uh, on the show, we covered the Draft Bernie movement uh, to Draft Bernie for People's Party um, had launched, and it was pretty um, a pretty big launch. And it got tons of people to sign up, a bunch of donations of thousands of dollars, and it got, you know, a lot of, a lot of, um, views online on their website, and it got a lot of, you know, he, Nick Rana got some interviews on some places, um, so it was pretty big, right? And it's this movement basically to start a third party, to start a people's party, um, and it would be like, you know, the Bernie Sanders message, so... As you guys know, there are the Justice Democrats started by, you know, Kyle Klinsky, all that whatnot. But, so, it always seemed interesting to me, and I'm sure this has dawned on you guys as well. It is that, will the Justice Democrats and the People's Party and the Green Party and the brand new Congress and brand new 34, 35 or whatever, I think is that, are they going to end up con conflicting? Because where do they fall? So... It's an interesting topic, and I want to know what you guys think on this, because it's more of a community discussion than it is, like, a, a definitive answer. But uh, Bernie Sanders recently said that, no, right now, our, our best practical bet is to retake the Democratic Party, which is fine. I can agree with that. It makes sense, right? We got to have level heads here, guys. We have to have level heads here. But anyway, so the point is, is that Bernie Sanders says, not right now, let's wait. Um... But that's still with the DNC chair race going on. Uh, let's see. So Kyle responded in a way that I didn't expect him to. And it was kind of impressive. Um, you know, I was expecting him to say, you know, oh, come to Justice Democrats or whatever. But instead, what he said was, is no, we have to unify in all ways. And I actually agree with him on this. And I think that there should be no conflict between these brand new Congress, Justice Democrats, Green Party, you know, Draft Bernie, none of these people should have conflicts. They should do their best to not run against each other because that would just be counterproductive and stupid, right? So, I, I totally agree on that front. And everybody should be unified under progressive causes, not because there's one idea of Justice Democrats or this idea or that idea or this idea. Just, just go... Um, it's an awesome way to get things going. I'm really riled up for these things, actually. I want to see how they play out. 2018 is going to be a massive time. We know Trump has a 38% approval rating, which is unprecedentedly abysmal for the start of a, a can for not a campaign, for a presidency. So I want to see what happens in 2018, and I want to see what these guys do. The Justice Democrats, brand new Congress, and brand, you know, 435, and the Draft Bernie Party. I want to see what happens, and more importantly, we, we should really see who the DNC chair ends up being, because that will end up being very important in who we end up getting in 2020, as well as if people will be able to win things in congressional seats in 2018 because Deborah Wasserman Schultz and even Harry Reid, the Senate Minority Leader before Chuck Schumer, said DWS didn't do shit. Nothing. He had to do everything in Nevada on his own. So, it's very important. I'm going to talk about that in another episode as well. But I like Kyle's answer and I think that everyone should unify under a umbrella of ideas not just a platform or per se like an organization